What's up, guys? All right, so we got four boxes of King's Quartz here for part two of the case opening. Let's see if we can pull one of the new Millennium Layer God cards this time around. And hopefully, it's a Slifer, because really that's the best card of, of all three of them. And my personal favorite, and mostly because it's red. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, Rose Princess. When you try to open a pack the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Crystal Girl, we're getting uh, Rose Princess Crystal Girls. What's the next? I swear, we get more Stygie Gels, we're making a deck. Oh, nice. Burning Soul, we only got one last time. It's a decent, decent card with a decent effect. With a decent artwork. Just all around, all around decent. You know, just, it's all right. Thunder Thighs, we got Thunder Thighs Summon. Let me know in the comments if you think that people will find a way to break the new support for the gods. Because it does have potential. I'd say it has more potential than most of the newer archetypes that we've had. I mean, from Ancient Guardians, right? We have uh, reptiles that are doing decent, but nothing besides that. Maybe with the new uh, support that we're getting for Earth's Arctics, with uh, mixed with the Tritron cards, we'll get something uh, going for the Polar Bears, but I doubt it. People don't seem too hyped for the newer archetypes, to tell you the truth. At least I haven't seen much hype. From the newer archetypes, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. There are better duelists than me out there who can make this deck somewhat viable, and that would be awesome to see because uh, the gods really need a break. They did, uh, ooh, nice. Here we go Arcana Triumph Joker. The anime girl of the set. The only real, the only real hype I see for the newer cards or newish archetypes or whatever is the new support for the penguins, which I guess you wouldn't really consider a new archetype, but I do see a lot of hype for that, and uh, good good for the people that like it. I, I do like the artwork, they, they're really cute, but it's not my play style, so I'm probably not going to be picking them, picking them up anytime soon. Whoa, look at that. Great quality. I will say though, Konami's quality does suck, but at least their higher rarity cards Look at that thing on the corner there. The higher, higher rarity parts, not supers and not ultras, but collector's rares, starlights, and all that stuff. I don't think I've seen any that have dinked corners. Ghost rares do have damage on the back if you guys try to pull some stuff from uh, ghosts from the past. You will see what I'm talking about if you were lucky enough to get a ghost rare, I guess. Um, or if you watch some videos, you will see that Ghost Rares, um, the, the quality in Ghost Rares is pretty lacking, but Collector's Rares and, um, and, uh, even Secrets, but, uh, Collector's and Starlights, the quality is pretty decent. I, I haven't seen any video of someone pulling 
either one that's you know un unplayable, unusable, uh, with bent corners or the artwork is fucked up or something. They're pretty darn good with that, so you take the good with the bad with Konami, I suppose. Makes me wonder if this set will get more support along the way. I don't think the Toon Chaos set. Last year's Toon Chaos. I don't think they, it got more support outside of Toon Chaos for the Chaos Monsters or for the Toons. But I could be wrong. Konami, we need one more ultra from this box. Nice. Uh, damaged again? Got it. That was damaged again. We did pull this card at the last opening and it was pretty damaged, but it looks decent. We'll put that there. And we'll move on to box number two here. As far as collector's bears goes, I'm not sure which ones I want the most. Uh, to tell the truth, it's probably going to be just the ones that are most expensive because I don't really think I want any one in particular to keep. Maybe Guilty, Glitty, whatever the hell the guy's name is, because he, he does look pretty cool. But other than that, the face cards are a mistake to put them in collector's rare, as a collector's rare, but, you know. Uh, and then the newer face cards, too. They'll look amazing, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I would want any of them. The one collector's rare I, I will definitely hate getting, though, is Hyper Galaxy. Because it was the worst card out of the set to make a collector's rare. Okay, maybe not, but a lot of cards are damaged on this uh, in this opening from the same uh, case too, which is weird. But this Joker's Knight is looking all right, front and center there. That makes three so far, so that's. Uh, that's great. I'm not exactly sure how many you'll need in the deck, but I'm assuming three would be the best ratio-wise. And for the, the waifu joker, you probably will be okay running one, because you can search her off Thunder Thighs, Summon, and... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be pretty easy to get out. Thunder Thighs Summon. You can search her, you can then summon her, so... Yeah, maybe maybe a one-up, if that. Because... It does destroy spells and traps and monsters and whatnot, but... I'm not, I'm not sure if people would run it. Or just uh, go with beatdown. Warriors are usually played ass beat down, so... Ties of the Brethren. There was, there's a Yugi dude, <laughs> there's a YouTuber that, um, that was, um, saying that he really likes Ties of the Brethren, and, uh, I can see why. The effect is really nice, actually, for decks that use... And another one that's staying. Look at that. That's unfortunate. And I mean, as long as it's the dinosaur card, I really could care less, to be honest, because I'm probably never going to use it. And I don't think it's going to be the most expensive ultra in the set. So, but yeah, Tides of the Brethren seems like a pretty good 
card that I was sleeping on. I never really knew how good it was. Another Thunder Thighs. Jesus, what the hell? It, they just keep getting worse and worse. Hmm. Kind of thinking here, because if uh, I do sell some cards on the side, right? And I've been trying to work my way into selling some boxes, but I would feel like an asshole if I sold someone boxes that had cards that were bent. Now, the person who sold me these obviously didn't know that they were bent, right? How can you? But I would have to find a way to not feel bad if someone messages me saying like, hey, these cards were bent. I also don't even know what, what I would do. You know, would I refund them? Because that's a lot of money to refund for something you didn't do. Ooh, there we go, F-Zero. F-Zero. Draco Future. Put that right there. It's one of the most expensive cards in the set. Right along with, uh, right up there with uh, Lightning Storm, which we haven't pulled any. Which is uh, worrisome, to say the least, but... We'll see. I definitely wasn't expecting Konami to throw Lightning Storm in for free in this set, right? You gotta, you gotta work for it. And by work for it, I mean buy a couple cases to get a, a playset or more, I guess. Because people do like to keep multiples of staples. All I'm saying is I hope it's a easier to get in the tins if they do decide to print it in the tins for the people that need it. I probably don't need it. I mean, I don't really play competitively. And I'm all right with Harpy's Feather Duster and Raigeki. If I need to clear the board in any way, but... All right, box three was hard to open there. Is that a good sign? Hopefully. We're gonna get our lightning storm here. We're gonna get a collector's rare. And we're gonna get an Egyptian god. That's right, I said and, not or. We're getting all three. give us more support there's really not that many light warrior monsters that you can use in general I mean there's not that many good warrior fusions that aren't heroes and if this is an excuse for Konami to print more light warrior fusions I'm all for it Actually, isn't Sunriser a light monster? See, now I'm really thinking about heroes and uh, base cards in the same deck. Will it work, though? Thunder Thighs. I think it will. I mean, we have Sunrise that's a light monster, but I don't think it has generic materials, right? Ooh, nice, another F zero. Nice. It, it it is a nice looking card, so we'll put that there. I don't know if you guys have ever played the F zero games that Nintendo makes, but every time I see uh, I see this card, 
I get reminded of those games. I used to play the one that they made for the GameCube, and at first, because I think I got it as a present, at first I was like, man, this this looks really lame. And then I started playing it, and I'm like, man, this game is pretty cool. It's a racing game, but it's like a futuristic racing game where the cars are kind of um, hovering. And the gimmick is pretty cool because you can like uh, kind of crash into people, but it's not really crashing. It's like if you imagine a car punching another car, that's basically what you were doing in that game. I wonder if they made more games since then for that series. And if you're not familiar with the series and you play Smash, um, it's Captain Falcon. Or whatever the hell the guy's name is. it Captain Falcon? Falcon Punch. Ooh, we got something here. <sighs> Dude! Wasn't I just saying I don't want this one? That's unfortunate, but, you know, we can't complain too much. I'm not exactly sure why Konami made this one a collector's rare. It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but it's... Let's read the effect. Tribute one monster with 2,000 or more attack, except Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon, the target one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 or more attack. Tribute it, and if you do special summon one Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from your hand, deck or graveyard, you can only activate one Hyper Galaxy per turn. Is that good? In a Galaxy Ice deck or uh, Galaxy okay, Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon deck, I don't know. We're gonna put it uh, right here. We're gonna censor Dark Magician Girl a little bit here. It curves. Although I did call, we were gonna get a collective bear. So now we just need the Lightning Storm and the God card. Ooh, Joker's Knight. Not bad, not bad. We seem to be getting uh, pretty lucky with the Joker's Knight, though. White Rose, White Rose Cluster. What is a cloister? What does that mean? I think Sunriser is, is generic for heroes, but not generic for other archetypes. So you need uh you need heroes. And unfortunately, face card fusion, you need the original musketeer cards on the field to fusion summon using monsters from your deck, so we'll see. I kind of just want to combine the Musketeer deck with other warrior slash light slash god decks, just kind of kind of see how they work, how they work out and stuff. Just for funsies. Crystal Girl. I think we're making better time than last video. I'm getting pretty pretty fast at opening stuff. Evolzar Dolka. Another card that I keep pulling. At least it's this one wasn't damaged. Seems about 50-50 with that one. All right, guess we're moving on to the last box here. My predictions for the last one were somewhat accurate, so I think we're spilling over here. We got the collector's rare. This box will be the Egyptian God card with Lightning Storm. All right, let's do it. See if I can be faster. Cause uh, who cares about uh, who cares about the commoners? Really, 
the only thing I would want to look at the comments for is for misprints. Because I haven't gotten any misprints. And in all the stuff that I've opened up recently, I've gotten no misprints. And what I've been hearing is that uh, Konami's been misprinting stuff hard. But I haven't seen it. Unless you consider, like, dinged corners a misprint. Because in which case, uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of those. You got Joker's Knight again. It's probably your sixth one, actually. Crystal Girl. Super Kawaii. <laughs> Do people still say that? Do weebs still say that? I used to see a girl that was super into anime. Oh, another collector's rare. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, uh, look at that. Beauty, Lightning Storm. Back to back. That's interesting. So we did get Lightning Storm. Huh? Huh? See? I told you guys. Damn, no dings. Looks pretty. Looks perfect. Uh, let me sleeve this one up. Alright, let's see. We'll also sleep up Hyper Galaxy, I suppose. Just so I don't ruin it before before I sell it. Um, hopefully though. So here's my game plan. I flip this, get a couple boxes, or one probably, and try my luck again. Burning Soul. Not bad. Looking at the ultras we pulled, and from what I remember from last opening, I think we're still missing one. At least one. No, we're definitely missing one. We're missing Lightning Storm. We did get it as a collector here, but we haven't pulled it as an ultra, so we'll see. We'll see. Scrap Twin. Let me know in the comments what your favorite card is in Kink's Court. Pretty sure you guys have seen all of them by now, besides the Ultra Lightning Storm, that is. But, yeah, I mean, is it, a, is it an import? Is it a, a card that got a bump in rarity? What is your favorite card? For me personally, it would probably be... Guilty Gear Freed because the artwork does look cool. It's a shame the effect isn't as good, and I know I complained about that already, but the artwork. Oh, there we go. See, Lightning Storm. Didn't I call it? This box was the best in terms of value. Not bad. I won't sleep it though. It's time. We gotta finish. We gotta wrap up this video. Yeah, let me know though. For me, it really is guilty, just because the artwork is super dope. It's not the best card in the set, definitely. It's, uh, the honor goes to Lightning Storm, probably. Um, the MVPs being F-Zero, and in my opinion, Stiggy Gel. Because Stiggy Gel is a pretty good card. It's secret OP. I, I was reading it after last uh, the last opening, and I forgot that it gives you life points too, and it helps you get out more cards on the field. It, they just have to be uh, fiend, so we could be more fiend synchros, I suppose. We're ending with Crystal Girl, level one spellcaster. All right, guys, that's the video. Let's do a quick recap, though. 
I'm gonna get a sleeve now for the Lightning Storm and the F-Zeros, because it's gonna be pretty good to sell those, actually. All right, recap time. We got uh, three Evolzar, um, two of which seem to be damaged. Thanks a lot, Konami. Hashtag boycott Konami. Then we got three Joker's Knights as well. Actually, this one seems a little damaged too. Hmm. Hashtag boycott Konami. And then one Arcana Triumph Joker. Nice. We got some anime titties this time around. And then uh, two Burning Souls, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, I wonder if this was an anime card. Looks pretty anime. -y. And then we also pulled two two Utopic Draco Futures that don't didn't look damaged. So thank you. And then one Lightning Storm Ultra, one Hyper Galaxy Collectors Rare, and then one Lightning Storm Collectors Rare. So you know what? You take the good with the bad. Konami did give us a lot of bad, but it also gave us a little bit of good in return. So that's where I'm going to be leaving it. Make sure you leave a comment. If you like the video, make sure you like it. And if you want to keep seeing and hearing me, make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next one.